box artwork, Warlord. Hi! It's Atari Jeremy from Video Gamers Oasis. Welcome to my Page TikTok 133. channel. And uh, if you're into video game uh, trivia, a lot of uh, geeky stuff like that, keep watching. If it's not for you, then keep, keep scrolling. It's not for you then. Welcome back. We've been reading the book Art of Atari by Tim Lepatino. It's a history book of the talented artists from uh, Atari. And they were very talented artists during the late 70s and early 80s. Now, I thought, figured this would be very appropriate for today's uh, reading. I'm wearing uh, uh, my night vision gla glasses to protect my eyes from the glare. And also, I'm wearing uh, a suit of armor with, uh, with jaws of a shark as a helmet. Now, I figured this would be appropriate, and I, I'll sh explain to you why. Uh, recently, we read about, uh, we read a long series of uh, video game history. Uh, from the uh, the artwork of Missile Command. Now we're reading page uh, page. We're starting off with page 133 now. Warlords for the Atari 2600. Now I first want to bring your attention to this uh, really great full color artwork here on the top of the screen. It reads the description reads interior manual. Art for Warlords 2600, artist Steve Hendricks. And here we have an, a really powerful uh, orangey red, uh, dark red, a mixture with light red. Um, it's all red, basically, different shades of red, of an illustration of a medieval king with his jewelry on his uh, fingers and he's holding, he's clenching his fists with frustration or rage or something. And below him, there are four knights, four knights, medieval knights. Is a, there is a, uh, an, an, a, a knight with a armored uh, visor on his head. And uh, there seems to be either a medieval knight prince or a king has a crown on his head. And there is another medieval knight with a beard. And there's another medieval knight on the far right with a mustache. It almost reminds me of Monty Python and the Holy Grail, but a little bit more polished. You know, I do, I like that kind of comedy, but I'm also thinking about the Arthurian legend movies from the late 80s. There was a lot of those fantasy sword, sword and sandal uh, adventures, sword and sorcery, medieval knights. So that is the this part one. We're going to read more on the artwork and also the gaming right after this video. Send some likes and some love.